I have with me Levi Leipheimer from America. He's riding here with um, the Astana team, of course, backing up Contador. Does it really suck to have Contador on your team? Does it what? Does it really suck to have Contador on your team? Uh, I'm, I don't know if I understand the question. I'm being facetious. I'm saying uh, if, if he weren't here, you'd be probably winning, wouldn't you? If, if he what? If he weren't here, you might be in the latest jersey. <laughs> Uh, I guess that's pretty logical, yeah. Because um, I'm, if I were you, I'd be trying to lock him in his hotel room or, you know, spike his food, put a little bit too much chili in his paella or something. Yeah, maybe I should uh, lock, lock him inside his hotel room and take the key, yeah. yeah no. I think that would be a good one. Anyway, how is it going to back up one of the world's best riders? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty awesome because, you know, he's a, on the verge of making history and, you know, he's Spanish and that's really annoying, by the way. He's Spanish. We're here in Spain, and uh, you know he's had a lot of pressure on him to win. And and it was uh, the day of the Angliru was really special because the team was strong and it went perfectly to plan. And uh, you know I, I I sacrificed a lot, and then for him to come through, it's just it, you know it really makes it all worth it. So uh, we're all really happy about it. Oh, that's great. Now, what language do you speak in Team Astana? <laughs> Uh, actually, it's kind of like this Mongolian chant, uh, grunting and beating of the chest. Uh, it takes a little while to get used to it, but it, it works. It's a good system. Okay. Now, how many bikes have you got home, Levi? How many bikes? Yeah. At home? Oh, I lost count. I have, a, I have a lot. Do you have mountain bikes and town bikes and all that kind of stuff? I have uh, like a cross-country bike, a six-inch travel bike. Bike. I've got you know, time trial bikes, road bikes. Uh, I've got a special bike just for the rain. Uh, I don't have a cross bike yet. Uh, I got some town bikes. I got a lot. And what about the rest of your family? Do you have a lot of bikes there too? Yeah, my wife has a whole set of pink bikes cross bike, mountain bike, road bike. And uh, it's good because, you know, we get to ride together sometimes, so. And is your garage bigger than your house then? <laughs> it's close. If, if I had it my way, it would be like that. It would have like uh, four stalls of bikes and a few stalls of cars. That would be nice. But what kind of car do you drive? Um, I drive a Volkswagen Passat in Spain, and in America, I drive. I'm kind of ashamed to say I have a SUV. I got to get rid of it. It's gas guzzler. My wife has a, a Honda Element, though. That's pretty good. On that um, tone, can you think of any ways that bike racing could be a bit more carbon neutral? We've noticed um, a quite a lot of cars following and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and our, our buses probably aren't the best thing either, but, uh, oh, well. you know, we can make some small steps by not throwing our trash away. Oh, is there a, I wondered about that because I was calculating, you know, like 180 riders all throwing out six feet of bits of rubbish for nine weeks of the year of, of all the big tours. That's a lot of rubbish. But is there a ringleader to try and uh, bring that aspect of the of the, the tours to the, the mind of all the cyclists? You know, I think maybe just setting an example, I, I usually... I, I try to put it in my pocket if there's if there's no one around, but if there's a crowd there, they're outside their house, I'll throw it to them. Hopefully that they'll pick it up and throw it away. Same with bottles. So I think that's maybe the best thing we could do right now. Well, I'm glad that we've covered all those important issues. Now back to the trivial stuff. Campag or Shimano? Oh, well, SRAM. <laughs> Sorry. No, SRAM. that's great to hear that. No, we haven't had many SRAMs today. Now, um, the other thing I was going to ask, who was when you were a boy, who was your cycling idol? Not just from this era, but from past eras. Uh, well, when I first got into cycling, it was Greg LeMond. You know, I always remember him winning the tour by eight seconds, so I have to say Greg. And outside cycling, from another sport, who's your, or your sporting hero? From another sport, well... I recently watched this uh, documentary on Michael Jordan. It's called Michael Jordan of the Max, and I realized that uh, you know that this generation they never got to see him play. And and uh, I, I always, you know, I'm not really a basketball fan, but it was hard not to appreciate his athleticism. He was he was really the greatest athlete. Well, there you go. A cyclist that loves uh, basketball. That's terrific. Okay, Levi, we're wishing you the best for today, for the rest of the tour, and we really hope you'll get the Mankini going when, if you win, you know, fingers crossed, if you win the, the Vuelta, we want Mankinis to ride down that finishing straight. No, not on me, you don't. Maybe no. some guys, but not me. Could Contador be a bit of a Borat for us? 
<laughs> no, but we do have a couple Kazakhs on the team. I'll throw it by them and see what they say. Please do. We're, we're, all the Aussies are wanting it. <laughs> yes. Bye. Thank you. Bye.